In this video, we have been given this equation and we shall have to find the values of x. Now I know that most people when they see such an equation, what comes into their mind is to expand. But I want us to solve this using a different approach. Now if you look at the numbers, we have 3, 5, 7 and 9. And you will notice that these numbers have a difference of 2 in between them. So what we need to do is take the average of these numbers. So we shall have 3 plus 5 and then plus 7 plus 9. And we shall divide this by 4. Now if you add up this, you will get 24 divided by 4. And this will give us 6. And now the next thing we need to do is let, let's say, a variable y to be equal to x and then plus the average which is 6 and if we make x the subject we have x equaling to y minus 6 and now what we shall do we shall replace this into our equation so for the first part we have x plus 3 and this will be equal to now if we replace x with y minus 6, we have y minus 6 and then plus 3. And this will be equal to y minus 3. And for the second part, we have x plus 5. And this will be equal to, once again, we shall replace x with y minus 6. So we have y minus 6 and then plus 5. And this will give us y minus 1 and then we have x plus 7 which will be equal to y minus 6 and then plus 7 which will give us y plus 1 and lastly we have x plus 9 and this will give us y minus 6 and then plus 9 which will be equal to y plus 3 so our equation will become x plus 3 will be y minus 3 and then time was now this will be y minus 1 and then time was y plus 1 and then time was y plus 3 and this will be equal to 9 and if we rearrange this we have y minus 3 and then time was y plus 3 times y minus 1 and then times y plus 1 and this will be equal to 9. Now from the difference of two squares we know that if you have let's say a plus b and then times a minus b this will be equal to a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2. Therefore you can express this and this in the same way. So we shall have y to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 and then times y to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 equaling to 9. And this will give us y to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 which is 9 and then times y to the power of 2 minus 1 and this will be equal to 9. And once again we shall take the average of this and this. So this will be equal to 9 plus 1 divided by 2 which will give us 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5. So what we shall do we shall let y to the power of 2 to be equal to any variable let's say z and then plus the average which is 5 and now we shall replace that into this equation. So we shall have y to the power of 2 minus 9 and this will be equal to if we replace y to the power of 2 with z plus 5 we shall have z plus 5 and then minus 9 and this will give us z minus 4. And then for y to the power of 2 minus 1 we shall have this will be z plus 5 and then minus 1 
which will be equal to z plus 4. And therefore, our equation will become y to the power of 2 minus 9 will be z minus 4. And then times y to the power of 2 minus 1, which is z plus 4. And this will be equal to 9. And once again, from difference of two squares, this will become z to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 equaling to 9, which will give us z to the power of 2 minus 16 equaling to 9. And therefore, z to the power of 2 will be equal to 9 plus 16, which is equal to 25. Now, if we take the square root on both sides, we shall have the square root of z to the power of 2 equaling to the square root of 25. This 2 will cancel with the square root. And so we shall have z equaling to plus or minus the square root of 25, which is 5. And if you remember, we had set y to the power of 2 to be equal to z plus 5. So when z equals to positive 5, then y to the power of 2 will be equal to 5 plus 5. And so y to the power of 2 will be equal to 10. And once again, if we take the square root on both sides, we shall have y equaling to plus or minus the square root of 10. And when z equals to negative 5, we shall have y to the power of 2 equaling to negative 5 plus 5. And so y to the power of 2 will be equal to 0. So y equals to 0. Now let's find the values of x. If you remember, at the beginning we had set y to be equal to x plus 6. So when y equals to 0, we shall have 0 equaling to x plus 6. And so x will be equal to minus 6. And when y equals to plus or minus square root of 10, we shall have plus or minus the square root of 10 equaling to x plus 6. And so x will be equal to minus 6 and then plus or minus the square root of 10. Therefore, the values of x, we have x equaling to minus 6, x equaling to minus 6 plus the square root of 10, and then x equaling to minus 6 minus the square root of 10. Therefore, that's how you can solve such an equation. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.